So in this problem, we're told to find the solutions uh, to 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals 0. And so it looks like we have like a quadratic equation here. So we could solve this by either factoring or using the quadratic equation. And if we look at our answer choices, uh, they're written in the form when we solve with the quadratic equation. So that's just a hint that we should probably use uh, the quadratic equation to solve this. So we have this um, equation here, but we can simplify it a bit. Because if we notice, all three terms are divisible by 3. So if we divide all terms by 3, it's just going to be simplified and make it easier to solve. So we have 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals 0. If we divide them all by 3, 3x squared divided by 3 is going to become x squared. 12x divided by 3 is going to become 4x. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. And so if we divide 0 by 3, it's still 0. And then we're going to want to use the quadratic equation, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is the equation we're using to solve it. So let's decide what a, b, and c are. So a equals b equals and c equals. So they're just the coefficients out front of each of our terms. So a is going to be the coefficient in front of our x squared term. So it's just going to be a 1, right? You just don't see the 1. So a is going to be equal to 1, b is going to be the term in front of our x term, uh, b, or b is going to be equal to 4, and then c is just going to be our number we're adding or minusing on at the end, which is just 2. So we've got all our numbers, let's plug them in. So we have minus b, so minus 4, plus or minus the square root b squared, which is just 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4, times a, which is 1. Uh, times c which is 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 times 4 2 times 4 is going to be 8 and then 16 minus 8 is going to be 8 and on the bottom we just have 2 times a which is 1 2 times 1 is 2 and so we've got it like this but we need to simplify it a bit more because none of these really fit the answers so what we want to do is uh, simplify this radical here, and we can do that uh, because um, 8, we can rewrite it as 4 and 2, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so we can take a 2 out of the radical, and then we're just left with a 2. So we can basically just rewrite the square root of 8 as 2 rad 2. So we have 4 plus or minus uh, 2 rad 2. We just rewrote the square root of 8, and then we're dividing by 2, and then let's just divide. So Minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2, plus or minus. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that's just going to cancel out easy. And then we just have the square root of 2. So we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. If we look at our answers, uh, the only one that's going to work for that is A. All these other ones have uh, different things, so the answer to this problem is going to be A.